Hey guys, Daniel Master 87 here. Um, so I did restart the game, went all the way through the train areas, went through the whole training facility again, this time on easy. And I don't know, maybe I should have just restarted it on normal again. Because maybe it was just a matter of, oh, I had a bad star and I couldn't really catch up from there. Um, <laughs> but, you know, playing this on easy is not what I expected. Like, this is too easy. As you can see, the amount of ammo we've managed to accrue and it, it, it almost takes the horror aspect entirely out of this game. It, this game on easy difficulty is unabashedly easy. It should be renamed baby difficulty. Because zombies, for example, are killed in like two to three shots. Um, the Eliminators are killed in like three pistol shots. The, the Leechmen are killed in considerably less shots. Like I'm not even having to use incendiary grenades or Molotovs or anything to kill them. So when I decided to quit and restart the Let's Play, then I was in an area where there were three leechmen, and I managed to kill all of them this time without much trouble. I didn't, I haven't died once, I haven't even come close to dying once. I think Rebecca might have reached red health one time, and then maybe both of them reached orange health one time but uh other than that it's been super easy so while that might uh impede the whole horror aspect of this game it's going to allow us to progress in the story unlike last time where it's like oh well we didn't save up enough health and ammo and these enemies are too strong in this one area so we just can't make any more progress so now we're here. We have 200 plus pistol ammo, a ton of heavy weapon ammo. It's just ridiculous. But we're gonna move along. I'll show you the map. We have so much stuff, like health items and ammo, that this place is littered with it. We have a green herb here, Mixed herbs here, 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 here. Three healing sprays. Uh, this is just one floor. Look at all these healing items. Two more healing sprays. Shotgun ammo. I don't know where the heck that ammo is. I've, I'm, I swear I've walked over it like two times and haven't seen it. But it's just insane how easy this is. I don't actually know where we're supposed to put this battery, but there's the obedience tablet. We got the magnum ammo. So where we were stuck at, I believe, was this area. Oops. If I can zoom in. This area over here was where we were just completely stuck. Because there were like two leechmen in the halls and one in the room, and it was impossible. But now that we've passed that area, put the. or got this other tablet, wherever it is, out of that squeezer thing using the crank handle we got, we're moving on. And, uh, that. that. Millennium case or whatever it's called It turns out you didn't need anything special to open it like 
I swear to God, I examined it multiple times. And all it said was, oh, there's a code that says 385 in the corner of the box. And I'm like, okay, I don't know what to do with that. Then I find out, oh, you just have to turn the case a certain way. And it'll let you put the three-digit code in. And then you get the handgun parts, which I added to Billy's handgun. And it has better rate of fire and damage. So that definitely could have helped us get through that leech man section which is annoying it might have been the thing to push us over the edge of not having to restart the whole playthrough and i'm not re i haven't really restarted the whole playthrough i'm just like restarted from easy and got back to where we were so i hope y'all appreciate that But I have made an effort to kill pretty much every enemy that I could, minus the little leeches that appear after you kill a leech man. And we still have this much ammo, it's kind of a joke, this difficulty, again. So we have two tablets right now, I don't know where we're gonna get the third one. What was kind of messed up, I realized as I was doing my second run through of this, trying to get back to where I am now, there were several areas in the mansion that were littered with more eliminators. Like places I didn't necessarily need to go to, but eliminators were there nonetheless, and I'm like, seriously? Because on normal and hard difficulty, there's like no way to not take damage from those types of enemies. Unless you play perfect as a robot. And it's like, this normal difficulty seriously seems like it's the hardest difficulty. Like how could things possibly get any harder than this? So here's the Unity tablet. Here's the obedience tablet, and I don't know where the third one is, but we're gonna put these in here, where they belong. More pistol ammo. Was this even here on normal, on normal difficulty? Well, we've actually reached the max of pistol ammo, I think. Leave this here a second. The pistol ammo stacks max out at 255. What do you mean? I can't take any more. Is this not the same type of ammo? Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Oh boy. Sure, give me these. I don't even need that much pistol ammo. Just drop the extra, why don't we? And of course I dropped it before reloading with her, stupid me. Yeah, there's bottles in this room where we just came from. Yes, there is. And let's go back there a second and combine the gas and the bottles to make Molotovs. That's not what I picked up. There we go. And I can't freaking carry it right now. Yep, 
Just drop these. We don't need them right now. So nine Molotovs with three bottles left over. That's why they give you way too much stuff on an easy. Just in case we come close to dying. Yeah, they both have health items. We just need one. It took longer than I expected to get back to the point at where I was. But we got back anyway. The third tablet might even be down here. Of course not. Actually, I think I know where it is. When we were upstairs, there was that one balcony we could look over and the... tablet, I'm pretty sure, was on the top of the pillar. But where is that exactly? It's actually through that door at the end of this place. It's right there on that pillar. Wait a minute, have we been able to go through the front door the whole time, and we just never did? <sighs> Silly me. I was wondering what the heck this thing right here was for, but I think the lift controls are at the bottom. Resident Evil and their puzzles. Yeah, we could have gone through these doors the whole time. I mean, once we unlock the night doors. I guess it just wasn't my first instinct to go out here, because in Resident Evil 1, then the front door you don't want to open because there's dogs out there. So I guess the memories were like meshing together to be like, you can't open this door. And here's where we put the battery. 
Oh my gosh, camera angle's changing. So what do we do to get this thing? The bridge has collapsed in the middle, beyond the precipice, however you say that. You see nothing but pitch darkness. That's probably precipice. I'll go alone. Roger. Just check if he has enough, yeah, inventory space. Now where do we put it? We left it in there. I still am boggled how normal difficulty was so freaking hard. Like the leech men seem to me like you literally wouldn't be able to kill them if it was just one character of yours trying to fight it. Because he stun locks you to the point where he's like getting more attacks on you than you are on him when you're firing off as many shots as humanly possible. And apparently the first leech man you ever see, you don't need to take damage from him at all if you just walk towards the exit of the room. Let's regroup. Okay. Then he can't hurt you and it just plays the cutscene where Billy saves you anyway. Oh, I know how we get that thing down. We put the battery in here. And then it powers the lift. Which looks like it hasn't been serviced in 20 years. And sounds like it too. And then, can we get on the other side of this and push it? Yeah. If Rebecca will get out of the way. Oh come on. Let's split up. Okay. Whoops. And then we push this box next to the pillar so that we can get on top of it and reach the thing that's on top of the pillar. I don't think there's an option to turn vibration off, but I would very much like an option to turn vibration off. Because it makes my hands feel weird when I'm just doing normal stuff. And then my hands are vibrating. The last tablet. Didn't we already have a discipline tablet? I swear we did. Maybe they're randomly generated, like which on, one is Roger. which. And we just got a different order this time. So the guys we've been seeing in the cutscene together, Wesker and Dr. Birkin, I think is his name, they're important for, like, the story of Resident Evil 1 and 2. But we kind of <laughs> don't really know who they are unless we play those games first. 
but it is Resident Evil Zero, which is supposed to be a prequel to those games, so I'm playing this first. Unfortunate that it's been like 20 minutes into this episode or whatever, and we haven't seen a single enemy to fight. Let me see the names of these. Obedience, Unity, and now we have Discipline. Okay. So the tower has been lowered a floor. Oh look, there's water here now. So now, when we get to the top of this ladder, if we look at our map... Yeah. No. Yeah, you see that red door at the top is where the tower originally was. Now if you just exit it, then you're gonna fall onto the roof of the tower because it's been lowered now. So now the entrance is here. Where does this actually lead? I'm pretty sure I know, but I just want to double check. Yeah, right here it would just be this balcony or whatever that led to an empty wall and you're like what kind of architecture is this well this is why and now this other door leads somewhere and it's opened I hear walking. Are those crows? No, they're bats. Oh, this area, I completely forgot. I'm wondering if these bats are gonna try and attack us. Oh boy, this looks like a trap. I wanted him to pick up the shotgun ammo, but this is fine too. Do these trigger anything? No, this is the actual thing. Let's split up. Roger. So as long as he's standing on that, then this is available. There's actually a boss around here, I believe. Yeah, it's all coming back to me now, this area. I thought it was part of Resident Evil 1, though. It's locked from the other side. Of course it is. It doesn't seem to be getting any power. What's that sound? Oh, that's my footsteps going over the rubble. Yeah, I bet these bats attack you or something on normal and on easy. It's like, ah, eh, don't even bother. Let's go in. Ooh, 
there's an altar here, despite its aura of divinity, you can't help but sense something ominous about it. Yeah, it looks like the, you see the person at the top of the painting, like the tallest one that looks like the monster lady or whatever from, I don't know, that scary movie, I didn't see The Nun or something, but I saw all the trailers. What are we even doing in here? Oh, there's more doors. When you hear that music, you know it's a safe space that you can probably save at. Let's leave the Molotovs here for now. Yeah. So that we can pick up the ink ribbon. Let's see what else is on the floor first. More shotgun ammo. Something I noticed is that the color of the text changed when I changed the difficulty. On normal, then that text right there was white, and now it's blue because I'm on easy. And we don't need these ink ribbons. So we can pick up these Molotovs again. Hopefully Billy can come in here with us so we can help carry a bunch of the stuff. Man Bat, what are you doing outside of a Batman comic? I think the shotgun might be able to hit him. Maybe when he dives down closer to us. Ah, oh, shoot. How much damage did that do? We're fine. He's so fast. Oh, now we have a bunch of stupid little bats trying to fight us. Get out of here! Can Billy seriously not come in and help us? This is what I like about the old Resident Evil games, you're just fighting giant animals and stuff sometimes. Turn around! The stupid little bats are stopping me from hitting the big one. I probably should have brought in the grenade launcher. Oh my god, I pressed X to shoot. We have a health item. Oh, am I supposed to be pressing X or something? To get off quicker? I don't need to heal yet. <sighs> Aim at the big one! If I die here... I can't hit the little ones, they're moving too fast. Ow! 
Oh, come on. I, it won't even let me leave. I'm gonna see if that's what he tries to do every time I come this way. Do we even have to fight that boss? <laughs> no, apparently not. Unless there's like some other room we have access to. I keep seeing King Gemini comment. Or it says he left a comment on one of my activities. Time will let Billy have a whack at it. I can't see what Gemini's comments are saying. I just keep getting notifications that he's sending them. Yeah, this is what we should have been doing. Sending in Billy with his OP pistol. I wish more than one of us could come in here at the same time, though. in here. Just a stupid ink ribbon. <sighs> so there's nothing else in here. How do we unlock these other doors then? I'm having to use the doom strategy. Oh, okay. Where I was just going along every wall saying, oh, is this a door? Is this something I can interact with? Maybe, maybe not. Let's go near Rebecca so we can give her these shotgun bullets. Roger. Whoops. No, don't step off that tile. I'll go alone. Okay. Yeah. So now Billy can go back and get the hook shot. Yeah, I killed it in more ways than one. Like I killed it, but I'm also killing it. Can I like raise this thing? Or is the game not gonna let me do that? Cause it's like, oh no, you can trap Rebecca over there forever. It's not getting raised back up. I 
I'm trying to pick up the pistol ammo. I'm just mapping out my route. Oh, did I just go the wrong way? Yeah. It's down there, though. More shotgun ammo. Okay, I will come down here. Yeah, when I came back through here the second time, there were like two or three eliminators in here. I think I see where the shotgun ammo. Yeah, it's right there. You can barely see because it's like in between the two camera angles. What they really needed in this game was a way to extend how many inventory slots you had because six, even for two characters each, to have six is not enough. As you can see, I'm leaving trash all over the place, like in this room. And now I've forgotten why I came in here. Oh yeah, the hook shot. And if there are any ink ribbons around, I will save, because I don't want to die somehow and then lose all this progress. Now we can go back the way we came, I guess. It's stupid that the hook shot requires two freaking inventory spaces. It can't deal damage, but it's gonna take up as much room as a grenade launcher or a shotgun. And you only need to use it like two times in the whole game. Maybe three if I remember correctly. I wonder what would happen if I tried to call Rebecca from here. It, it's not working. Okay. Because what if he's like, get over here, and then she runs like across the entire map to meet me? There she is over there.
before we do that. Whoops. Exchange all this. 70 shotgun bullets. Change so we can reload. And all Billy needs is his pistol, really, because it's OP. With these attachments. I don't know why I brought the first aid spray. We're obviously going to find more. On our way through this place. I don't even know where that song's from, James Bond or something. But it's like every time someone's being lowered down or up on a rope. This circuit... oh. I thought I saw a quo quotation mark. The circuit breaker appears to be supplying power to the elevator. Lift the handle, yes. What elevator? Oh, that one. There is a tower on this church, right? And then eliminators drop out of the sky. No. What did I tell you? Green and red herbs. Which when combined. Oh my god, I can't still can't believe Billy can't mix herbs. Leave this here for now. And take this. And unlock this from this side. Oh wow, it plays like a whole door cutscene just for this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm fairly certain there would be zombies or something around back. If this was on normal. I'm surprised I didn't see any. Exchange. We don't even need the hookshot anymore, do we? I mean, at least in this area. So exchange those. And switch to Rebecca. And exchange some of this. This is probably all trivial, by the way, because I'm never gonna need this this much health anyway. And switch back to Billy. And two more green herbs and another red herb. There would not be this much health spawning, like, naturally. Let's not even bring a health item up here. I don't even know what's up here. Oh. This might actually be going underground. I remember now. So what is this place? The laboratory. 
you can see a set of stairs leading up, but they're collapsed and can't be used. this a simple elevator shoot for transporting transporting items it appears to be connected to the operating room send something to the operating room no because I don't even know where that is there is a typewriter if you have an ink ribbon you can save your data yeah that's what I was trying to do zombie right there. He's not up yet though. Whoops. This bookshelf contains a number of books about viruses. The titles are all unfamiliar to you. Here's another place to use the hook shot. I'm assuming this is where the shoot thing comes in handy because we can send down an item. Some kind of internal organ appears to be inside. Inside of what? That's non specific. There's a. I want to pick up the gas can. Gas tank, gas can, gas canister, whatever. Yeah, just like that, Leech Man dead. That's why it's called easy. map. Wow, there's a lot of stuff down here. There's something on this shelf. Let me read this and then try to get the thing off the shelf. The shelf contains a large number of chemicals. The labels are so dirty that you can't even tell what's inside. Take the empty bottle and combine it with these to make Molotovs. A oh, freaking leech. A collection of leech samples. Press the button. Yes. One of the capsules is glowing. You cannot carry this item now. We'll just drop this gas can and then we will be able to pick it up. So what does it say if we examine it? The capsule appears to contain a specimen of a leech. I don't see nothing in there. The lid won't budge. Maybe it's sealed with some kind of special material. It looks like poop. <laughs> oh, I see the leech now. The statue's upper body has been smashed to bits. This 
This door behind us is locked, correct? It's locked. And then these two are open. More gas. More bottles. But I cannot carry this now. I'm not going to save because I just saved. It's locked. You can't open it. I'm just going to run around carrying these things so I can use them up. It looks too high to jump down. So there's not a ladder we can drop or anything? Okay. So this area is useless right now. It's messed up though because they, they keep putting bottles and gas and all the stuff to make Molotovs which are the weakness of the leechmen but they're placing them in the environment in areas where you have to kill the leechman first to get to them which doesn't make any sense to me there's a zombie right there two of them ah oh, shoot Tell him. It's full of poisonous gas, what the heck. So the safety lock has been activated. Ooh. It looks like some kind of chemical. You'll need a container to carry it. Rebecca could carry it in her little medical kit. It appears to be a device for pumping gas into the room next door. The device is empty right now. Let's use this thing. Oh, I thought we would fill it with gas or something. Maybe we could fill it with this stuff. Oops. Oh, do we, does Billy need, even need to be solo right now? I think we can have Rebecca waiting for him on the bottom floor. An overabundance of health items and molotovs that we could send to Billy if we find the other end of the dumb waiter. I just don't want a leech man to be spawned in our face as soon as we walk out the door. Because you'd be surprised this game was doing that on normal difficulty and easy difficulty. It's just that we could deal with it this time. zombie got up. Will this one shot him? That one shot him. Send something to the operating room. This. Meanwhile, 
let's see if this thing can... No, you don't put whatever is in this red thing into here. They don't specify, like, what chemical it is. They just say a chemical. Is it a gas? It is, is it a liquid? What am I supposed to be getting from there? There's a note here. Which I never read any of. It's been replenished with fresh bioorganic fluid. The surrounding equipment is running. I am myself. There's another double door here that we can go through. Destroyed. I thought I heard another one, yeah. Destroyed. When did this guy die? Did he get hit by the first Molotov? I guess so. Another green chemical container. There is some kind of mysterious thing on the operating table. Like it's alive or what? That just looks like a shirt to me, covered in blood. What's going on over here? This operating table has been overturned. Court dismissed. It looks like it happened recently. This door is going to be locked for now. This door is decorated with a bust of Marcus. There's a space, a space in the base for some kind of object. Maybe this leech, but I need to get it out of this container first. So where have we not been in yet? Might have to pull out the IGN walkthrough for this one. If we could have Rebecca come up here and use the... Using the hook shot, then... Maybe she could get something out of that red container. Switched over back up real quick. There's a water pitcher here. It's empty though.
maybe if I go out of this room, then something crazy will happen, and then, oh, a door magically opens up for you. That doesn't tell me anything. Like, what am I supposed to put in there? Put a Molotov in there and explode the whole place. The shelf is filled with various lab equipment. Everything looks very well used. So do these things have any significance? Probably not. Do this. combine these which I should have been able to do without having to drop something else but whatever game so now we have a whopping 12 molotovs Is there anywhere down there where Rebecca is where it would be useful to... This bookshelf contains a number of books. Oh, okay. Is there anywhere down here where we could put the little canister thing with the leech in it that would be of any use? Because it seems like all the science-y stuff is at the, at the top where Billy is. Am I missing something? It seems like we've gone all the places we can go. Where's that ladder at? I don't remember using a ladder. Oh, that's where Billy is. So it's saying that Across here, there's a platform right there. But how do we get to there? It looks too high to jump down. Well, then maybe... Oh, come on. Maybe we could have grappled down. I'm going to actually try and go back with Billy to the hole that he first came up through to get up here and see if we can jump down there or if it says no. Oh, there's a button here I didn't even see. There's a button. Press it. Yeah. So that leech man is actually aggroed on me right now, even though he can't physically see me. I 
Let's test this out. Does he immediately get aggroed on me when I come in this hall, even though he can't even see me? You can even hear him too. Wait. Okay, let me go through this room so the music will settle down. These capsules contain human specimens. Each book, or each, has a look of great suffering on its face. So descriptive. Is there anything on this desk? There's a computer here. It doesn't turn on when you press the power button. Oh, there's a note in the chair. If the game will let me get it. Through the hole you can see the lower floor, but it's too dangerous to climb down there. But I have a hook shot. I can't, like, lower myself down there. So there must be another way from up here to get back down to Rebecca. Where's that dumb waiter again? If she's down there and that's right there. I need to find it so I can give her the Molotov so she can take out that leech man. Yeah, yeah, I know you're down there. That's not out there. It's in one of these rooms. I don't think it was in this room. I think it was in through these double doors. Reference room. What the heck is that? There's room names I've never even heard of. Where's the sitting room? That's basically the living room or the dining room, isn't it? We need Billy to equip a weapon at least so we don't forget. Rebecca can get the Molotovs from the dumb waiter. Leave the shotgun ammo for now. Because we're probably going to need to pick up something. So if I go through this door, will a new area have opened? We'll see. There he is. Aim at him. Two Molotovs and that's it. On hard it would have been, sorry, on normal it would have been like three Molotovs, maybe more to kill him. Which is stupid, kinda. Looks like some kind of chemical put it in the mixing set. The green chemical is already in your mixing set. Add the chemical. I don't know what these all do. They're grand chemical and green chemical have been mixed to form a stripping agent. Oh, I see. 
Even though I have no idea what that means. Examine it. A stripping agent used to weaken the grip of certain types of materials. So that's that's kind of interesting actually how they've used this mixing set. I believe that if you have the green chemical in your set then it can cure poison. I think we established that before we did the reset to easy mode. I have no idea what the red chemical on its own does. And then this thing is going to get that brown star stuff off the thing. Ooh, look at this fancy combination lock. There's a device for entering entering a combination, but it's missing a part and can't be used. More health. The store is decorated with a bust of Marcus. There's a space in the base for some kind of object. But we still don't have that. Okay, I think I know what we need to do now. We need Billy to send the container with the leech in it down to Rebecca so she can combine it with um, her stripping agent. And then she can send it back up to him and he can do something else with it. Maybe. Actually, we'll see. Yeah, put your hand on your hip like a cool guy. Combine it. Yeah, cool. Close that door. Um, now we have this thing. B.I. Leech Charm. So it's not a leech, it's a charm of a leech. A blue sculpture specifically shaped in the form of a leech. It's not a leech, any leech I've seen. Well, not in real life, but in this game. So now, Rebecca can use it to open her door that's down here, and she can send it back up to Billy so that he can unlock his door. The lock has been released. Let's leave this health out here. Oh. Oh. I guess we can take it out of the door when we're done in there. Let's keep the health to be safe. Mysterious objects are floating in the water. Whether they're organic or what, we'll never know. A large painting hangs on the wall. The title reads, Woman in Love with a Dead Man. Take the input rag coil. I'm assuming that means regulator. There's something else here. There's something written on the back of the photograph. To James, to commemorate your graduation, 1937. <gasps> that guy must be Marcus's son. 
poor grandson. So the guy in the white cloak or whatever you want to call it that controls the leeches is Marcus's son or grandson. And I don't know what that matters, but it's a thing, you know. It's an unlit fireplace. It looks like it hasn't been used for a long time. It hasn't been used in a long time. Well, I guess four is also correct, but whatever. Oh, I can't turn the jukebox on or whatever this thing is. Oh, there's a door here. Freaking key items you gonna give me? Oh, here's the green one. So we had a blue leech charm going into the blue door. And we need a green one from the green door. Leave the health item for the key item. Let's do it. Despite a few cracks, this. This pot looks like a valuable work of art. This picture is composed of four separate sheets. There doesn't seem to be anything special about it. What a weird way to talk about the stuff that you look at. There doesn't seem to be anything special about this. There's nothing of use here. Like, a variety of expensive looking art supplies, for some reason, just looking at them sends a chill up your spine. Looks like someone's afraid of art supplies. Oh, that's what GR and BL mean. It means the colors. It's weird that they'll have these rooms sometimes with like these cool sounding ambiences and then it just cuts out because it's only present for one room. Now what were we doing? Yeah, we need to send this green thing up to Billy so we can unlock his door and also give him this other thing. I just hope he has enough room to hold all this. There's the green leech charm. I wish you could send up more than one thing at a time, jeez. But that might be technically hard to do. Resident Evil Zero did come out in like early 2000s, I think. Maybe not early 2000s, I don't know. But it's been a while since this game was initially released. Okay, we can hold something else for sure. Send in the input regulator coil. Send in the clowns.
So is there anything in this room we can unlock? Yes. But why would you have that blue leech charm in a freaking canister? I don't understand. I hear something. A crawler. One shot, one kill. More pistol ammo. I'm gonna reach max capacity for sure. Yeah. Drop these extras. Take the sterilizing agent. These containers look like they're used to store dead bodies. A strange smell emanates from inside. Strange is one of the words you can use. So that's all we came in. Oh crap. That's all we came in here for, was the sterilizing agent and to get bit on the foot. Can I, like, combine these or something? Okay. So the sterilizing agent, I think, will go into that gas room. So one of these has got to go in here. So we sterilize the gas or something. I've got that umbrella patch on their uniform. I just noticed. Really? They're, they have a whole door opening animation for this? Oh, they fixed it. It appears to be a device for injecting gas into the room. What? Pick this thing up. Take the breeding room key. Ugh. So that key's going to be used to unlock something. Let's try this one. No, I don't think so. This room? I don't need to use this now. And yet, I just used it. Use the breeding room key. You don't seem to need this key anymore. Throw it away, yes. Yeah. 
And we just have pistol, but that's fine. On guard. I just slumped over like that. BOW report. So these things are a type of bio-organic weapon similar to the zombie virus and all that stuff. They were created by man, I guess. They're not just monsters that are wandering the earth. were created by Umbrella, the shadowy corporation of blah blah blah. What's in that room? A gas tank. So we need to go to the dumb waiter once more and give Rebecca the the dial. Standing there with a Molotov in her hand. I seriously can't skip, the, skip those cutscenes, they take so unnecessarily long. Device is working again. Enter a combination. So the locker combination is four eight six three. Cancel that. The door is now unlocked. So this is the downstairs part of where Billy was looking over. This isn't even that crazy of a drop. Like you literally try and climb down on one of these metal things and you're good. Does the lever here pull it? No. Um, let's go back to Billy. Of all the things we can bring down from up here, what do we want it to be? Surely not another healing item. We 
We want it to be shotgun ammo or something. Or nothing, maybe. Yeah, here's the shotgun ammo. We go through this door over here. Let's actually leave the hook shot. We, uh, I don't think we need it anymore. I think that's actually the last time we need to use it. Then we pick up this, and we are actually going to end the the episode right here. And we'll continue next time. This is Daniel Master 87 signing out.